Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So firstly, I'm going to start off by apologizing for, um, for it being so long since I've last uploaded a video. Life has been super hectic and crazy and do you know YouTube always is my second passion um, with obviously Instagram being my main thing that I spend most of my time on between working on clients and my children and life and everything um, YouTube sort of got pushed aside a little bit and I sort of lost interest in it but anyway now I am back and I'm going to try my best to keep um, putting more videos up for you guys and more content so if there's anything that you want to see let me know today what I'm going to be doing for you is a quick no nose contouring video. So all of my makeup is done, my eye makeup's done, um, my my base is set, my eyes are, my under eyes are set. I just basically wanted to do a, firstly a quick video um, to show you guys how I contour my nose. Um, I did a live a few weeks ago showing how I contoured and that went really well. I got so many messages from um, people saying that they've tried it and they found that my little tip was really useful. So it could be um, something that a lot of people do. I don't know, I personally haven't seen anyone on YouTube do it, but it's not to say it's not out there because I don't actually um, have time to watch too many videos myself. So anyway, I'm gonna get right into it because I know no one likes a long video. So basically, when I um, normally used to do my nose contouring, I would, you know, map out my lines for where I want to create the illusion of a narrower nose. So everyone that knows me knows that I hate my nose and I that was what started me, um, that was what started my passion for contouring quite a few years ago. So anyway, um, I hate this little tip on my nose. If I could make it a tiny bit narrower, um, I would, but I'm too scared to have cosmetic surgery. So this is what I do instead. So I'm gonna start off simply by powdering my nose, which is not something that you would normally see. Normally you would put all your um, cream contours on, you would blend everything and then you would set it with powder at the end. But I'm going to powder my nose first. And by doing this, I find it gives, um, it gives my cream contour um, a lot more hold. I used to always struggle when I applied my cream um, concealers and things. When I'd blend it, I'd sort of find it would all disperse and then I would lose what I was working on and pretty much end with a big blob of brown and it would always be a struggle to keep those lines intact and to keep everything looking nice and sharp how I wanted it to. So on the off chance, I just tried this out one time and I was really impressed with the results. So now this is how I do it. So firstly, we're gonna start off by creating my contour lines and as always, I pretty much love for my nose, the LA Girl Pro Contour, um, Pro Concealer Contour and it's the shade Beautiful Bronze. So I'm going to just map that out. So that's where I want my new nose to sort of end, the tip of it. And then we're gonna just cut off those corners here, which is the wide section of my nose that I'm trying to conceal. And then we're just gonna bring this down, little line there, and we're gonna shade a little bit under there too. So that's just brings my nose all together. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer shade and I'm using Classic Ivory. Again, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer Sticks. And I'm gonna taper down the side of the nose on the outside of the contour and right down the center. And just a little bit there. Like so. So that is what my nose looks like before it is blended. Now we're gonna come in using, I love the Morphe brush um, brushes, Brittany Bear nose contour brushes. So we're gonna come in and we're going to blend, firstly, the contour shades. Now, when you are blending them, 
Try and keep very steady because you actually don't want to get rid of the shape that you've created. You basically just want to soften it all. So we're just going to really focus on having a very steady hand while we're blending. And a lot of people don't contour from up here. They sort of just tend to focus on the tip. But by starting at your brows, that is what gives you that really angled nose and sharp, prominent shape. So I personally love to do this on myself. And this also can be done with powders. If, if you're a beginner and you're not that confident with um, using cream contours, cream concealers or any cream contour products to contour with, you can do this with powders. So I'm just really focusing on controlling where I'm going with the blending because we want to blend it but we don't want to blend it away. So you can see that it's starting to create its shape now and it's really softening quite nicely. It's not a quick thing like on YouTube if you see someone just go and blend it away well they've edited a lot of the buffing time so it does take a few minutes because while it is a prominent look, you don't want to walk around with um, bold straps across your nose because it can be a little bit scary. <laughs> so I always leave the concealing, um, the lightest shade till last. And I also like to sort of let that semi set on top of the powder, which it, it gives it really good hold. And I do like that line to stay very prominent. Okay, I do tend to use my fingers a lot, so then I just finish it off with a little bit of body heat from my fingertips, just to help soften it that little bit more. So I explained on my life, what we actually want to do is give the illusion of a narrower nose, and by doing that, Wait, I'm going to go again in with this highlighting shade so that the sides of my nose then blend into my under eye shade and it looks, appears like it's all fluid and that my nose is a lot narrower than what it actually is. And you can see straight away the difference that it makes. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a beauty blender, small one, and we're just going to blend that back in. And then we are going to go down the center of the nose and soften that highlight shade. Okay, so you can see that it's a lot more blended now. It's a lot softer. Now we're going to cover it all just with a powder the whole thing. I'm not worried about where it's going because I just want to set it. And then we're going to come in and set it individually again. Brush hair. Okay. So then I'm going to come in with a fluffy brush. This is a designer tools brush, DMT. T60. It's really fluffy and very soft and it gives me lots of control and I'm going to use the Benefit Cooler Contour Powder. So we're just going to re-finely set these contoured areas. You can, I can barely feel that touching my nose. So it's just a really light pressure now. Everything's really light. I'm going to cut it that cor those corners off and that corner and just under that tip. Okay, then we are going to reset the side of the nose with this Morphe brush. Now I'm using a lighter shade powder and we're going to just sort of bake that a little bit. So we're just going to let that sit there for a little bit and that's the same colour that I've used um, to set my under eye area so it's just going to blend straight in. So we'll just let that sit there for a few seconds. 
With that same powder, I'm going to get my fine contouring brush and I'm gonna set down the center of my nose. Like so. I don't do this every day, guys. This is pretty much like a special occasion contour. I pretty, I don't do this all the time. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna lightly dust all that away. Snatch. Wouldn't it be good if, if my nose looked like this all the time? It w it could if I wasn't too scared to um have a little nose job, but yeah, I'm a chicken. I've actually never had surgery or anesthetic or anything like that, so a bit of a baby. Okay, then just to finish it off, we're going to just highlight down the center of the nose. One of my favorite shades and um, products to use is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. It's a beautiful golden color. So we're going to take it quite up. We're not just doing this tip. I do like to do this middle section, nearly just below where the brows start. And instantly you can see that that really just, it does really pull the nose contour together. So I go at that little section right here and then right here. I'm not going down the whole nose. I used to, but now I, I rather the look of just doing a little bit on the tip and that little bit there. And there you have it. That is how I contour my nose. So yeah, I just wanted to do a really quick video so you guys could see exactly what I do and what products I use. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, then I'd simply just put on a bit of gloss, do some lipstick or whatever, and good to go. Thanks for tuning in. And again, I'm sorry that it's been so long, but I really, um, I'm gonna really try my best to keep to be more consistent with my posting on YouTube. So please stick around, um, give me any ideas of what you wanna see next, cause I love to hear them, see them. And yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.